Report cards were released today for Oklahoma schools and they paint a concerning picture for education. News Force Capitol Bureau Chief Kaylee Olivas has been looking over the results for us and Kaylee, the state superintendent, is calling them unacceptable. Yeah, Kevin, that's right. He says for far too long, schools have focused on social experimentation rather than educational outcomes. And this latest state report card proves it. One of the most troubling grades, Oklahoma's graduation rate, which sits at a D. The status quo in the state of Oklahoma has led to horrible student outcomes. And those outcomes continue to dwindle. The state's latest report card released Wednesday shows a lack of turnaround across 1,700 schools. Let's start with reading proficiency. Numbers show an overall decline of about 1%. Another drop is in reading scores. 81% of eighth graders can't read at grade level. Math scores didn't show any improvement. Third, seventh, and eighth grader scores are all down. Overall, Oklahoma sits at a C average for academic growth and academic achievement, both a drop from last year's report. Compared to five years ago, the state's graduation rate is also lower. During the 2017-2018 school year, Oklahoma was a C average, now given a grade of D. Focusing on Oklahoma's charter schools, the state's largest, EPIC, serves just over 13,000 students. It scored a D in academic achievement and overall performance with an academic growth that dropped 3% from last year. The clock now ticks as the state tries to pull itself out of 49th in the country for education. We have seen indoctrination in our schools, and we've also seen programs that have not led to the student outcomes that parents and citizens around the state desire. We have to do all that we can. And he says that includes incentivizing teachers, more student disciplinary action, and his back-to-basics approach, focusing on math, reading, civics, and science. That failure should not be an option in the state of Oklahoma. Well, as we were working on today's story, we noticed the numbers kept changing. While the state has declined in a lot of areas here, overall language proficiency and how well schools are helping kids gain that early college exposure has increased slightly.